Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Light the Torch Podcast. I'm your host, Brandon Jones. And to the left, I have my guy, Blackie Chan. And bottom, we got none other than your boy, Guns. And tonight, we're going to bring you a preview of the USC versus ASU game. And boy, do we have a lot to talk about tonight, man. How you guys feeling, fellas? Feeling good. Good, we good. Go off, man. Yeah, so... This looks to be another uh, continuation of preseason. Uh, <laughs> well, it's like, you know, I think it'll be a little bit more challenging. Um, ASU did not fare well last week, uh, getting blown out by by Fresno State, 29 to 0, and having eight turnovers as well. But with that being said, having eight turnovers and only losing by 30, if there's any takeaway from that, I guess that would be it. You know, I guess there's some positives there. If it, yeah. Yeah, not really, but yeah. But, <laughs> you know, I mean, could have been much worse. Let's, let's just put it that way. Right. Uh, this is a team that's been decimated by injury on the O-line and and quarterback room. Um, it's just things are just not going well for Kenny Dillingham in his inaugural season. And it's like the worst case scenario is, is happening over there for him, but. Uh, I expect them to improve eventually, but you know, Kevin Dillingham is is a good coach. It's just you know, young and unfortunate, right? Now. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's kick this thing off. So, first quarter, what we got, guns? Yeah, so I mean, you kind of mentioned some of the things that I'm going to mention is, you know, with the quarterback room banged up, um, sounds like Pine uh, uh, from Notre Dame uh, is going to most likely start. Um, we don't have an official, but that's, that's kind of what it sounds like. Um, O-line still banged up. They, they're they getting their tight end back, which is good. One of their weapons he didn't play last week. Um, I think they're getting somebody on the defensive side as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I just expect an, another kind of a uh, big road, you know, not big, but, you know, rotation game, basically people in and out, in and out. Um, you know, we're going to be up big by the half um, and we're going to be coasting essentially without the starters in the, in the second half, most likely. Um, my prediction um, is that we definitely get at least 50 points. So, I mean, we can get like a 56 um you know 56 10 game 56 13 maybe um i could still see given that kenny dillingham is the offensive coordinator maybe he give them some urgency give them some maybe some rhythm um we especially in the second half where they they'll, they'll probably score on some of our, our backups potentially so um so yeah yeah all right um raul is just not what's going on raul Bro, you there? Looks like he's having some mic yeah, issues. All right, well, we'll come back to you. Go ahead, Blackie Chan. Um, so I have low expectations for Arizona State, and I hope they can – actually, I don't hope they can surpass them, but I just can't see that they're going to be able to be any way productive with all the all the injuries that they have so i expect a pretty dominant game from uh usc uh, they do have a good defense at least according to all their stats they're what ranked 33rd in the nation so that's probably the best thing that they have going for them so it if if you want to say if you want to give a, a bright spot to arizona state that's pretty much it but they still gave up a lot of yards still to uh, Florida State, or not Florida State, uh, Fresno State. Uh, but I don't know. I expect a high-scoring game on our end and a fairly low-scoring game on their end. I, I do expect that uh, our defense is going to be dominant. I expect both uh, first, second, and third string to actually uh, put a lot of pressure on them, especially their – their offensive line because their offensive line is completely dinged up. So uh, I expect us to at least score another 50 bag on them. That would be the, it'll be the first time in USC history that they we've scored 
uh, 50 points in four games straight, at least. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not out the realm of possibility. <laughs> in fact, I would say it's very probable and likely that that happens. So, yep. Robert, what you got? I think it's going to be an easy game for USC as well. Um, like uh, Gunner mentioned, I think they're down to like their third string, unless the the guy coming back he's the second string. But from what I read, I think there he was like third string, and I think they're out a few linemen as well. So I, I expect uh, Bear Alexander to get his first sack uh, this week. If he doesn't. Um, no, there's nothing wrong with that, but I would like to see a, a Bear Alexander sack this week. Um, like uh, Blackie Chan mentioned, I think there's going to be 50 plus as well again this this week on the offensive side, and we might even see some defensive touchdowns as well. So, it uh, I personally think is going to be over by halftime, if it's not over by the first quarter. So, <laughs> you know, first that, quarter, that'd be a record. Caleb yeah. Williams out in the first quarter. No, nah, I mean he won't be out in the first quarter. But you guys get what I mean. Yeah, it'll be way out of hand by the first quarter. I think if we're up thirty-five points in the first quarter, is it possible? I mean, no. I think they still have to no, go half. I think, like, I think yeah. just to the... yeah, <laughs> they might just take it easy on the second quarter, but they'll probably still, you know. Keep them out there to you know just get that end game yeah, reps yeah. right. It, it's At important for him. Season, to... man, we we got to get our offense gelling, man. So, right, we did. We man, really did. Doing well, but you know we got to make sure they're ready to go, for, especially if you know. Right. I'm not gonna lie, if we scored thirty five though in the first quarter, man, I'm gonna be feeling real nice in the in the attendance. So <laughs> I'm gonna be feeling real good. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, that's right. You're you're gonna be out <laughs> yeah, there. Sir. Right? Oh, sir. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's um, no, I mean, I'm expecting a blowout. It's Arizona State. I don't think they are doing anything this year unless they somehow um, are saving all their cards for our game. But, but well, it, it should yeah, be. I mean, game. I'm sorry, I'll pick it up. Um, yeah, I mean, I expect them to give us their best, which I don't expect that to be much, but I do expect them to give us our best, being that they don't have a bowl game because, you know, self imposed. Uh, sanctions, I guess they decided that they were going to slap themselves on the wrist and ban themselves from a bowl game, which for the looks of things, they weren't going to make it to one anyway. <laughs> so it's so good for them. Man. <laughs> yeah, so sure. does it count? Yeah, right. right. <laughs> you know I mean? So it works out for them, I guess. But um, yeah, man, I mean, this is a team that's just decimated injury, man. It's not like you, you saw earlier, Raul, we tried to get their uh, – their fans involved in this yeah. live chat, and it's just dead we, in there, man. Like, yeah, I mean, we went maybe they'll the, show up. No, who so, knows? Hopefully, they do. I mean, I tried interact. I tried engaging with them. They didn't say tried, anything. Man. We, we sent the invite. <laughs> you know, we hollered into a, a hollow cave, man. It was nothing, nothing coming back, man. But uh, and if you guys do see this podcast later on the day, like I said, feel free to join us and uh, leave some comments. Let us know what we're missing. Like I guess what we're not talking about Arizona State, what's promising for the program. So, uh, yeah, Kenny Dillingham, right? I'm interested to see what's the, what's the temperature over there with the fan base, man. Like, yeah, what do you, what's going on through you guys' minds? You know, facing all these injuries, and are you guys just giving up on the season already, or what, what's the case, man? Yeah, but uh, well, well, yeah, man, it's quick, not looking good for them. Quick uh, chat here. Uh, I'm uh, I'm going to butcher it again, but. Uh, Tafaf uh, says, "Would you guys take a twenty-nine to zero shutout of ASU like Fresno State got last week?" Yes, I would definitely take a shutout. We haven't had a shutout since two thousand and eleven. So yeah, I'll take I, a shutout, but I'll take more points. No offense. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, you give us eight turnovers, it's going to be just one hundred. Yeah, I, I don't know. If, <laughs> yeah, if we have eight turnovers, like that'd be. It would get sad at that point. Yeah, like, yeah I mean, I, I started to feel bad for Stanford, and we were just show them mercy. It just was sad. Like they looked like they didn't want to be there. So, but yeah, I'm not sad anymore about it. Yeah, I mean, like uh, Gunner mentioned, I'll take a shutout for sure, but 
not 29 0. 29 0, that means we, we took a step backwards, in my opinion, if, if we went 29 0. Yeah, if we score under 50, and that's not a good look. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll feel like one of those Hilton wins all over again. You know? <laughs> yeah. that, that's bad when we're disappointed if we don't score 50. Yeah, well, hey, <laughs> that's a wrap, man. We're, we're getting spoiled over here. Yeah, we're spoiled. Like, yeah. I was I was at the I was at a pet store to get some food for my lizards, and this lady saw me with my USC sh- uh, hat on, and she's like, "Oh, so you like the University of Spoiled Children?" I was like, "Oh, she didn't do that." Well, her her husband went to USC, and uh, uh, and she uh, she went to Cal Poly, or something like that. So, so she's not even allowed. That, <laughs> really. <laughs> Yeah, man. And this is in Minnesota, right? Oh, uh, yes. This is in Minnesota. And uh, See, uh, Typhaf, uh just hold on to this. I will I will start that, and we'll, we'll get back to that. Lights, camera, action. <laughs>